welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited because this is going to be my first video in my Christmas series. I know I said I'd do a back to school series, but I got so busy and like, I don't even know. Ed, I'm so sorry that I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I've just been so busy because my dance studio is working on a show that we are going to do this next weekend. I'm literally there every single weekend. It's like kind of hard to film videos during the school year. But I have so many great ideas for this holiday season and just this time of year that I'm going to produce a lot more videos and hopefully get them up quickly and on a schedule. So I promise there's going to be more than one video in this series. Christmas is my favorite time of year. I know it's like so early to start thinking about Christmas and it just makes me feel so warm and like happy inside and like I don't know. I just love when my family comes over and I love how like cold it is outside because you get to like bundle up and there's so many cute socks and sweaters. I listen to Christmas music from like October to January because it's my favorite. I love the Justin Bieber Christmas album and if you haven't listened to that, you should. My Christmas Spotify playlist is the best thing ever so I'm going to link that down below so you can go listen to it and bless your ears because it just makes my soul so happy. Today I'm going to be showing you four easy DIY decorations for Christmas that you can put up in your room. I got all of my materials at Dollar Tree for under $20, so this is totally affordable and it just looks so cute. They're super easy and fun and I think that they're cute. I just went with like a gold theme besides like this banner tassel thing behind me and I thought that would look more festive, but the rest of the things I did gold because it matched my room, so yeah. And if you tried out any of my decorations, please feel free to send them to me. I'd love to see pictures, so let's get started. The first decoration I'm going to be showing you is this vase. Well, so you're gonna start by using a vase and some ornaments. Dump out the ornaments onto a table and then place them in the vase. It's really easy, guys. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to make this ornament tree. It looks super cute and it is really easy and simple. You're gonna need a hot glue gun, some ornaments, a foam tree. You're gonna remove the top of each ornament so this way it fits better when you go to put it on the foam. You're then going to put a layer of glue around the edge of the ornament and put it into the foam. And repeat this all the way around the tree until you can't fit any more in that row. After your first row is finished, you're going to move up and create a second row on top of the tree and then continuing this all the way until you get to the top. I then put a few ornaments on the top to fill in the white space and that is your finished tree. Next I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable tassel garland. You're going to use tissue paper, twine, scissors, and that's all. You're going to first unroll your twine and cut it to your desired length. Then you're going to fold your tissue paper, hot dog style. I don't know if anyone else calls it that. <laughs> then you're going to fold them into little rectangles all the way down your tissue paper. You're then going to cut your rectangles out. Then you're going to unfold them, creating longer rectangles and cut them down the center. 
And then I just did the same with my green paper. Then are going to fold your rectangles into sort of a square shape, I guess. And then along the not folded side, you're going to cut fringe about halfway up. After you are finished with your fringe, you're then going to cut your piece into two pieces along the edge that was folded to create the squares. Then unfold it, creating a tassel. We're going to create a crease along the middle of the tissue paper piece, so this way it fits better around it, your twine. Then you're going to take your twine and fold your tassel along the twine so the twine is in between it on the folded edge. Then you're going to twist it to secure it to the twine. I then continued this process all the way down until the end of my twine alternating between red and green. Then laid out my tassels and I straightened them out along the garland to make them look prettier. That is your completed look for your tassel garland. Lastly, I'm going to be showing you how to make this box. It's basically just a present, but it looks cute on display. I'm going to start with wrapping paper, a box minus foam, a bow, tape, and scissors. The first step is unrolling the wrapping paper and placing the box in the center. Then you're going to roll your box around and figure out how much paper you need and cut that paper out. Then surprise, surprise, you're going to just wrap it like a normal present. And yes, I know, I have a ton of extra paper, but I kind of figured it out. You're going to finish the look off by placing your bow in the center of your box.